Uh, I think this is the first time I've really been given a legitimate chance, you know, going out, being at UT the last few years, we kind of had a starter every year, so you're kind of going and competing for a backup job, so this is kind of the first year you're getting to go out there and, all right, yeah, let's go try to do everything to be the guy, so. Obviously, you're focused on what you're doing here going forward, but when you reflect on your time at Tennessee, what did you learn there that you brought with you here to Colorado? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, you learn a lot because I went through, this is my third coordinator now, third quarterback coach, so you get to learn a lot from different coaches and, uh, Obviously, you get to learn from the players you're around. So obviously, you get to learn from different guys that I play with. You know, Kelly, Chris, Jerry Garantano. So you get to learn a little bit from those guys and pick off of their experiences, and then take a little bit of what you can do for yourself from that. Do you have any personal goals for the season? Anything you specifically want to work on? Um, I mean, during camp, obviously, you want to work on being as accurate as you can. You know. Um, and then I think one big thing for me is, you know, you come in in the spring and trying to pick up a playbook. So just get more comfortable at the playbook and knowing exactly what we need to do so you can go out and not think and just react and play. How similar or different is like the, the system that Colorado wants to run to what you ran at Tennessee? I think we're a little more multiple here. I think at Tennessee we were more of a run the ball, run the ball. If we need to, okay, let's go ahead and throw it and let's go back to running the ball. I think we can spread them out here, do a little bit more multiple throwing the ball with some zone reads and everything like that too so are there any similarities in terms of terminology or is that all new i think football you can relate football to like learning a new language because conceptually everything can be pretty similar wherever you go football is football but you learn new terminology so it's like learning a new language whenever you get to a new place um, with CU's talent at running back and wide receiver has that made your job easier at all yeah absolutely i think we got a great room uh in the running back room, you know, Jarek and um, Alex and everybody, you know, I think we're going to have, I mean, we got, we honestly got four or five guys that can go around the rock if we need them to. And then obviously we got some great receivers and weapons to throw to outside and our tight ends are, are a good room too. So if definitely having good receivers and good talent around you makes you look better for sure. You mentioned this is the first time you really gotten a chance to be the, the starter. Does that change your mindset or your, your confidence? knowing that you've got an opportunity here to be the starter? I think it definitely gives you a boost in the confidence because you know you legitimately have a shot out there. You're not, you're not uh, just like, ah, oh, well, I'm going to be on the bench on game day regardless. So, But yeah, I mean a little bit, but at the same time, you always try to have the mindset of, i got to prepare like I'm going to be the guy no matter what, so that when your number gets called, you're ready to go. You have that pro style label, but you ran the ball a little bit in high school, correct? Yeah, and did a little bit of the zone read stuff in high school too, and I mean, like Coach said, I'm not, I'm not a blazer like B. Lou. I'm not going to go run like a 4.6 or something like that, but I can definitely run when I need to. That, the experience you had at Tennessee, you, know, you got into, I think, seven or eight games. You got to start one. Mm -hmm. uh, how much does that help in this, in this situation, knowing that you have seen you know, live D1 football now? Yeah, I mean, I think like B. Lou said, every little bit of experience you get out in a real game because you can't simulate it in practice is always helpful to have under your belt. So, I mean, the more and more you get out there, the more comfortable you're going to get. And, that things, things start to slow down a little bit for you. Coach Jarrell has mentioned naming a start at some point, you know, a week or so before the game. Is it helpful as a quarterback to know sooner rather than later or you compete until they tell you? I mean, you compete until they tell you. I mean, that's the coach's decision. Whatever they do, that's up to them. I can only control what I can control. So I go out there each day and do the best I can, and then whatever happens, happens. Nice to be a little bit closer to, to home. A little bit. I mean, a plane flight's a plane flight, but it's definitely better than a seven-hour or eight-hour travel day for like an hour and a half. So that definitely is nice to see the family a little bit more.